Uh, my name is Bob Curry. I'm the group manager with Derbyshire Fire and Rescue Service. Okay, um, and you were here last night? Yes, I was, yeah. Um, can you tell us sort of what time it all happened from, from your point of view? Yeah, the um, initial call was received at 20 past nine yesterday evening um, to report a fire in the news agents um, in the hospital. Um, we initially attended with three pumping appliances. Um, it became quite clear earlier on that that wouldn't be enough. Um, we ended up with ten um, by the end of the incident. Um, and we've been dealing with quite a serious fire, um, centred on the news agents, but is, which is spread to uh, the patient reception area, towards the fracture clinic and also towards A&E. And obviously fire appliances came from all over the county and neighbouring counties as well, didn't they? That's right. Um, yeah, we drew on support from colleagues as far as Phil as Derby, Long Eaton and also into Sheffield. Um, but that's quite normal for an incident of this size. I mean, this was um, quite a serious um, incident, a major incident for the hospital. And uh, yeah, quite a serious incident for us also. I mean, it's termed a major incident and obviously um, you plan for these sort of things. Were you happy from the fire service's point of view that everything went to plan as you would expect? Yeah, um, this was uh, quite a testing incident for us, to be quite honest with you. Um, you know, it took us about four hours to get the fire under control, um, which is a considerable time when you're concerned about it spreading um, and taking out further parts of the hospital. Um, any fire in a building of this, this type is potentially devastating and uh, obviously re removes um, a vital service for the people of the area. Um, so yeah, I'm absolutely um, happy with the way in which um, we dealt with the fire. Um, I think it's also worthy of note that the support we got from colleagues in the ambulance service, the police, um, ch the chief exec and his staff at the hospital and others um, was absolutely superb. The major incident plan was put into uh, place and that worked really well and resolved the incident really as quickly as we could do. I mean, this is quite an unusual incident for Chesterfield, isn't it, really? Um, and one you can't plan for apart from, you know, the... Uh, pretend incidences occasionally. That's right, um, it's, it's unusual to get a fire in a, in a building of this um, this type. Um, you know, it's well managed, it's well covered in, in terms of um, automatic fire detection, um, the exercise regularly, um, but, you know, the fire is completely unpredictable, you never know uh, when it might break out and um, what damage it might actually do. So uh, it is unusual, but it is something we do plan for. I mean, obviously, we're hearing this morning that it was caused by an electrical fault on the fridge, and you have CCTV to prove that. Um, that must be a relief that you weren't dealing with anything else. That's right. Um, you know, initially, you know, we, we we always have to determine the cause of the fire. Um, you know, we always consider whether it's accidental or whether it's something more sinister, maybe a deliberate act. Um, but the CCTV gave us um, assurance earlier on that it is a genuine accident, a very unfortunate accident, but it is a genuine accident where a small fire appears to have started um, probably of an electrical nature uh, within a, a fridge a unit and that spread very rapidly to involve the whole shop and then, as I say, other parts of the hospital as well. Mm -hmm. And there will be a fire investigation still taking place from today, will there? Well, we, we did that last night. We did it about um, 3 o'clock this morning yeah. and uh, we're happy, as I say, that um, uh, we've, got, we've got the cause determined. That's why we've drawn all our resources now from site. Um, we're just working with the uh, chief exec and his staff to actually um, restore the hospital to, uh, to use as quickly as possible um, so that we can lessen disruption to the community and get the hospital back on its feet again.